Bushido Risen Sun is a game of savage battles, of cunning stratagems and last ditch defenses, and where debts of honour are paid in blood. Bushido is an exciting skirmish game designed for two players using exquisite 32mm miniatures. You'll take turns moving your models around the battlefield, then rolling dice to see if your well-planned strategies succeed or fail. This video is to introduce you to some of the basic mechanics of Bushido and give you an idea on how the game works. For more in-depth details, please refer to the rulebook. Where necessary, the page references for the rules discussed have been added. Games of Bushido are played over a series of game turns, the number of which is dictated by the scenario being played, with three phases in each turn. The starting phase, in which players generate key for their fighters, gain activation counters, resolve any starting phase effects, and determine who has the initiative that turn. The main phase in which players alternate being the active player. Starting with the player with initiative, they choose a model to activate, then resolve an action with that model. Once the model is activated, the opponent becomes the active player and selects one of their models to complete an action. This continues until all models are exhausted for that turn. Finally, the end phase, in which players resolve any effects that occur in the end phase. Determine if any victory points are awarded, and if dictated by the scenario, end the game. Actions Models in Bushido perform actions to affect the game. The actions a model can take depend on the number of activation counters on that model. During the starting phase, each model gains two activation counters. Each time a player becomes the active player, they choose one model with activation counters to perform an action. Once the action is complete, remove a number of activation counters as required by the complexity level of the action. Simple actions. Remove one activation counter. For example, melee, ranged attack, key feat or a walk. Complex actions. Remove two activation counters. For example, a charge action, complex key feat or focus action. A model with no activation counters is exhausted and cannot be chosen to activate. Tests. To see whether a model's action is successful and how successful usually requires a test. There are two types of tests in Bushido, opposed and challenge. Both involve rolling six-sided dice, or D6s as they are often called. Importantly, if after re-rolls, the result on a die is a natural one, they are ignored and removed entirely from the test. Challenge tests require one model to roll a number of dice equal to the statistic value required for the test. The challenge number is the number that must be equaled or exceeded by the final result of the dice rolled. These will be called out with a challenge number in brackets. For example, key challenge test 5 or move challenge test 6. To roll a challenge test, calculate the model's dice pool using the relevant statistic. In this case, movement. Determine if you will use any feats or boosts to increase the statistic. Roll the dice and conduct any re-rolls. Remove any dice with a value of 1. Apply any modifiers necessary to the highest die result rolled. Select up to two additional dice to contribute plus 1 to the final result. These additional dice are called supporting dice. If the result equals or exceeds the challenge number, the challenge test is successful. If a success level is required, the difference between the final result and the challenge test number determines the success level. Opposed tests require two models to roll a number of dice equal to the statistic value required for the test. For an opposed melee test, for example, you would roll a number of dice equal to the model's melee pool statistic. Both players roll their dice and conduct any re-rolls. Then both players remove dice which naturally rolled one. Next, take the highest die result and apply any modifiers to it the model may have. Next, take up to two additional dice that were not removed. These contribute plus one per die to the final result of the roll. These again are supporting dice. The final results are then compared, the successful model being the one with the highest final result. The other model is not successful. The difference between the final results is the success level of the test. The success level indicates which column of the wound table the player should consult. The player then makes a damage roll using 2d6, adding together the results along with any positive or negative modifiers. The result indicates how many wounds are inflicted by the attack. For example, Masayima Aya has managed to hit Ito Itsunagi with a success level of 3, which puts her in this column. Rolling 2d6 for damage, she gets a 3 and a 5, plus her strength modifier, giving us a total of 9. Cross-referencing this on the wound table, we see that this causes Ito Itsunagi four wounds. Thank you for watching this brief tutorial video, in which we have covered some basic mechanics of Bushido. 
Below is a list of pages we have referenced in this video. The next video will discuss the movement of models in Bushido, Risen Sun.